I became interested in space myself at a very small age. At the age of about six years old, I used to stand in, the, in my back garden at home, looking up at the sky and, you know, my parents were very encouraging of that. Rather than telling me not to be silly and come in out of the cold, my mother would come and put a jumper on me and tell me to, you know, 10 more minutes. This is Rohini Observatory. Uh, it's an observatory I built myself in 2006. Its primary function is to look at the night sky, to observe anything of interest. Uh, lots of things happen in the sky all the time, things are changing. And here in Rohini Observatory, I photograph those objects to try and, I suppose, improve our knowledge of space. Pretty much any clear night of the year, winter, summer, any time at all, the observatory roof is open and the telescope is working away, photographing the sky and cataloguing all its wonders and treasures. Astronomy is a science where amateurs play a very key role in the actual development of the science itself because professional astronomers around the world just don't have the time to look at the sky all the time. So amateurs can play a very key role from very really small things like looking at meteors in the sky and counting them right up to doing you know high-end observations and even get a chance to participate in actual academic research papers. I built the telescope here in 2011. It took over six months to fabricate the telescope from the optics right down through the, the tube and all the ancillary equipment that goes with it. Engineering has been a bit of a passion of mine and you know I've built for example a, a weather station and uh, to, to enable the observatory to be able to operate and inform me when weather conditions for example aren't suitable for uh, for observing. The roof mechanism here was built in order to make the observatory open and close by itself and for example react to rainy conditions which we get in Ireland quite a lot and be able to for the telescope to fall down and the roof to close by itself. Rohini Observatory is an official observatory of the International Astronomical Union. The International Astronomical Union are responsible for designating observatories around the world. Rohini Observatory here is designated with a boring code called J41, which means that basically the International Astronomical Union trust the data which is being recorded here. They have assessed that data and they found that the, the data is accurate, it's good, so they can rely on, that, on data that comes from this observ ob observatory and, you know, to be read into the record. The objects in the sky that are observed on a particular night are really dependent on what of interest on that particular night. For example, earlier in the day, a telescope in America may have discovered a new asteroid and it may be of interest because its preliminary calculation may show that it comes near Earth at some point in its orbital path. So information on that, more information to provide a more accurate determination of its orbit is required. So when that happens, the telescope here will be tuned to, turned to that asteroid and it would be, uh, it would be examined. Its position would be measured, measured and reported back to the International Astronomical Union, who are the body who are responsible for collecting all the data on asteroids and interesting objects in space. A recent example of an asteroid of interest is asteroid Bennu. Recent observations show that it had a chance, at least, of impacting Earth in 2135. But observations from all around the world, including here in Rohini, showed that, in fact, the chances are quite slim indeed. While researching here at Rohini Observatory, I've been lucky enough to make several discoveries, actually five independent discoveries over the years. Uh, the first of those happened in 2008, uh, when I discovered a whole new asteroid, uh, an asteroid which was then called boringly enough 2008 US 3. That was the name it was given after I was, it was officially confirmed as a new discovery. Two Irish astronomers, myself and my colleague Dave MacDonald in Selbridge, actually managed to discover an asteroid within two weeks of, of each other. And that had been, was the first time that astro, an asteroid had been discovered from Ireland in 148 years. The previous asteroid, the ninth asteroid ever discovered, Metis, was discovered from Mercury Castle in Sligo. Uh, in 1848. So 148 years later in 2008, two guys in their sheds discovered two new asteroids and uh, it, was quite a, it was quite exciting at the time. We followed that up with a couple of more asteroid discoveries um, in 2009 and then in 2010 I was lucky enough to be the first person in Ireland ever to discover a supernova, an exploding star, um, a star maybe 100 times larger than our sun which cat catastrophically collapsed and exploded so uh, it was it was quite exciting uh, to do that and you know then later I was lucky enough to make uh, another four or two discoveries of, of supernovae. Because space is so large 
that actual event may have happened 140 million years ago and it's taken that long for the light to reach us here so when you're in your observatory looking at that object that you pretty sure nobody has ever seen before and knowing that it may have taken hundreds of millions of years for that light to reach your eyes it's quite a quite a special feeling quite a lot of checking has to go on through databases and through the international astronomical union in order to verify that in fact what you think you've discovered or you think you've discovered something new is in fact something new and not something that's previously known because there's a large catalogues of known objects in space one of the nice things is when an asteroid gets discovered you actually the discoverer gets to name it so when i discovered asteroid 2008 us3 back in 2008 um, once it had done a couple of orbits around the sun and its orbit was actually determined accurately enough the international astronomical union had invited me to name it um, I was able to name that in honour of my, my mum who had passed away in 2004 so out between Mars and Jupiter is a three kilometre rock now called Catherine Griffin and uh, you know so I suppose people don't get to have memorial stones like that the discoverer's name may not appear in any part of the name of the asteroid uh, just by the rules and conventions of the International Astronomical Union so really it is, I was delighted to be able to do that because it really does indeed provide a great tribute to somebody who, who meant so much and was actually very much instrumental in my interest in astronomy in the first place. Current theory seems to suggest that the universe may well continue expanding forever until eventually objects get so far apart that they're not able to interact with each other anymore and the universe just goes dark. Well, these are the sort of questions that may evolve over time, we may get a clearer picture and Things like supernovae, for example, can be used to measure the exact expansion rate of the universe and answer uh, maybe the biggest question of all as to where the universe is going, is going and where it's going to end up. So I suppose even any little part that you can do to contribute to that and perhaps help science one day answer that question is, uh, is, is helpful and it's, that's what keeps me interested is just being able to do my little bit. Personally, I enjoy what I'm doing and I think that when uh, a passion becomes a job, it stops becoming a passion. So I often thought that um, about it and maybe, you know, uh, when I retire, I may consider um, doing something on a more kind of professional footing. But for, for, for now, I'm just quite happy here in my observatory looking up at the sky and enjoying it. By studying a science subject, you know, you're opening up a lot of avenues, a lot of subject areas that you can learn you can discover you can make great contribution to so definitely it's 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 something i'd encourage young people particularly uh in school it uh it is to pay you know pay attention subject like maths science are all very important and you know by doing that you know you're giving yourself self the best position when you arrive at college uh college years to be able to uh, participate in science related disciplines